welcome back. Um, here's what we're going to do, okay? Um, I'm going to hop into game here in a second. Uh, we'll start the AIM lesson here. Uh, a couple things I want to point out first and foremost about AIM. AIM is muscle memory, okay? Um, there's not a whole lot uh, of things you can do other than practice your muscle memory. Practice where your, your crosshair is in relationship to your screen and stuff like that. Angles are obviously huge, knowing the angles when it comes to certain maps. So as far as that goes, there's no experience you can get with angles other than practicing them, playing, and doing stuff like that. But there's some things you can do to work on your muscle memory. So let's hop in game here, and I'm going to show you um, kind of what I use to practice aim. All right, there's a map out there called training underscore aim underscore CSGO. Okay. This map is huge uh, in that you can practice several different things. You can practice reflex, you can practice, um, you know, crosshair placement on certain quadrants of your screen, like we just talked about. Um, you can practice spray control. Uh, and, and from all those aspects, you can practice the distance at which you do that. So we're going to hop into this, this map here, um, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Last cup of coffee for the morning. I've been up since 6.30, so three hours of, uh, three hours of coffee is pretty strong. All right, so typically when you spawn here, you're going to get stuck in the floor. Don't worry. That's part of it. That's how the, map's, that's how the map is. Okay. What you're going to do is you're just going to type no clip in console, okay, and you just slide right up, all right, and then just type no clip again, boom, you're on the floor. No big deal. And I actually think you may be able to jump to that ladder from down there, but I don't know. I always have done no clip. All right, so here's what you've got. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four different levels of this map, okay? This is the area you're going to shoot in, all right? We go over here. There's certain training modes you got classic which is fast aiming angles and sliding reflex training burst training and then intensive fast aiming aiming so we're going to go through each one of them uh, i'm just going to kind of show you what it does how you can use it effectively and how to get the most out of it okay next thing target properties you've got size okay you can see all the sizes here find something that's comfortable at the beginning okay 12 is a good place to start and, and, and the way you use this board, okay, is you press, you hover something, color, and you press E, okay? We'll use blue, just because blue is cool, right? Um, shots to kill, you can change that if you need to. If you want to practice a two-shot burst with a rifle, three-shot burst, or maybe an M4, uh, stuff of that nature. I typically just do a one-shot, okay? Because all I'm, again, all I'm doing is I'm pretty much training my muscle memory, all right? So we're going we're gonna to set that. Target types, static meaning still. Linear, which means shifting, or rotating, which means circular. Okay. Um, amount, not really sure what that deals with. And then delay, obviously how, how quickly it pops up. Um, and you can you can see some of the target duration stuff here. Yeah, you can also fire them. Yeah, great point, Vintage. Thanks, man. Um, all right, next thing you go to, you got your guns. You got pistols, submachines, rifles. Um, shotguns and the machine guns. Typically, when I'm working on muscle memory, I just want a, a simple gun. All right, so you know, get you a P2000, get you a P250. I typically like for the P250. Okay, so we're just going to take it through the classic gaming. Um, now, one thing to note when we do this, okay, this is very important. If, if you don't hear anything else, hear this, okay, when you're working on muscle memory, the object is not to miss. Okay, do not miss. I would rather you take your time and take half a second longer to hit your shot than to miss. Only because if you practice a bad habit such as missing, all right, subconsciously it's going to carry over. So we always want to hit our target, all right? I uh, see some questions, or I uh, see some lines of chat. I have this map, but I have no idea how to, to I apply it to my games, okay? And you ought to remind me after we get done, and, and I'll, I'll touch that. Amount is the number of talk yeah, during the snap training, okay? All right, so we'll just go with classic first. All right, and all we got is this. Again, we just want to aim, and we don't want to miss. Even if the, even if it disappears, so what? We just want to go slowly and methodically. Okay. I'm going to try to take the most direct path and see what I'm doing between shots. I'm recentering my screen. Okay. You always want to try to be in the center of the screen whenever you reset. Okay. And 
And again, if you're a wrist player, this is going to seem rather monotonous and rather easy. If you're an arm player, um, you know, you may see a little bit harder um, time getting to your targets quickly uh, and, and efficiently. But, you know, get up on your mouse pad, get in the position you would like you would normally be in in the game, and keep everything the same every time you practice, every time you play. So if my keyboard's always in one spot, leave it there. Okay, if my mouse pad's always in one spot, leave it there. Um, if I'm leaning forward, try to emu emulate anything that you would do in a game. Okay, that's very important. All right, so again, that was that was classic. That was fast aiming. So we're just, you know, it's random. It's moving all over the, the place. Next one we're going to do is angles and sliding. Okay. All right, so again, you know, here's the target properties, all the same. And then for angle and sliding, you can change some of these, uh, the axis traces, which you'll see what that means in a minute. Uh, test time, you've got a minute. Okay. Well, actually, it's not that down to 30 seconds. I don't want to spend all day uh, doing aim maps. Okay. Um, and obviously you can change your distances, you know, four, one, whatever. Um, again, so here's what you're going to be placed with. If you want to get up on it, that's fine. It's a little closer range. If you want to back up a little bit, that's fine. And again, you can just hit, you can hit the start button. And all this is going to do is you're going to keep centering yourself in the middle of the screen. You've got to shoot the target, shoot the yellow button, shoot the target, shoot the yellow button. Okay. And again, we're, we're not missing. Okay. And you say, man, how is this going to help me? Okay, again, we're building muscle memory, all right? We're not trying to do this super fast yet, okay? Just, oh, can't miss. I just missed. Okay, test is over. 30 seconds has passed, okay? So, again, focus on not missing, uh, being as quick as possible, and um, ultimately, man, just build muscle memory. The more comfortable you get with it, the quicker you're going to be able to do it, so... Uh, just keep that in mind. Reflex training. All right, this one's this one's kind of interesting. Um, but basically, what you do is you start it. There's a circle, and then you try to shoot it when it blinks. Okay. So the duration is 0.24. So let's bump that up to let's say 0.34 for my granny reflexes. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure why I'm failing. Game's broken. Um, slow it down a little bit, or it should be speed up. I'm trying to like pre-fire it. That's tough. I'm not really sure why that's not working. Um, it changes from red. That's when you shoot. Okay. It's been a while since I've done this actual. I, I typically don't do the reflex stuff. Okay, good call there. All right, let's bump that up to 0.34. Start that again. Again, granny reflexes. See, I mess up on purpose, guys, so I, I get people who are lurking to say something. I'm just not even paying attention. What you can do here too, let's stop this for a second. Okay, let's go over here. All right, imagine we're picking doors on on Dust 2, okay? So we're gonna scope in, wait for that, that flash, and then boom, headshot. Dude, I haven't used the new op or the new scope. I can already tell I don't like it. Okay, so you guys are seeing how you do it now. All right, that's it. Okay, and then lastly, burst training. Um, here you want to get a rifle because the, the object is they're going to put a dot up, okay? And, and you're going to see how much you can... Uh, sorry, I should get an email mixture. wasn't important. Um, you're going to see how many shots you can hit. Get it there. You see how many shots you can hit in the circle, okay? See, right? if you want to use a three-shot burst, a four-shot burst, you just want to go fully automatic and see what you can do. Okay, that's what that helps you do. Okay, I would I would typically stick to a three or four shot burst. You know, if you want to get crazy, maybe get up close and then really try to work on it that way. That's fine. That's not even as bad as it was yesterday. What are you talking? Oh, you're talking about the scope. Did they already make a, like a hot fix for it?
Um, and, and again, trigger. This is what I. That's, that was the point I made at the beginning. Use something you're comfortable with at, at the beginning. Uh, obviously, yeah. Once you get good, and once you feel very comfortable with a a, a 12 R target, drop it down to an eight, then drop it down to a five. Okay. Constantly challenge yourself, guys. Okay. It's like we we talked about um, on on Wednesday night. Okay. We talked about exploiting our weaknesses, trying to attack our weaknesses, and trying to make ourselves better, more well-rounded. Okay. Same with our aiming. When we're uncomfortable, okay, uh, that's good. Okay. But again, focus on not missing. All right, that, that's the big thing. All right. Um, but Trigger, if, if you're to that point, man, and you feel like you can go heads, by all means, man, do it. Absolutely. That's good. All right, intensive fast aiming. Now let's just back it up to 12R. I haven't done this one. I kind of ran through this earlier this morning, and I didn't have time to go through all of them. So let's see what this does. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I've done this one before. And again, we're not missing, guys. We're just focusing on hitting targets, being as accurate as possible. Okay. And again, it's just going to challenge you. All right. You can change the timer on this one so they appear more often or appear less often. So if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed with too many, then just change the time. Okay. That's what matters. Oh, it's there. Okay. Remember, we can't miss. We don't want to miss. All right. That's huge. And obviously try to kill them as they pop up in the order they pop up or else they'll disappear. All right, so that's it. So again, guys, let's focus on not missing, building muscle memory. Okay, the one that's great that I love the most is the, the angles and sliding. That's what I, I use the most whenever I was really trying to work on my, uh, uh, my aim. Um, and again, you can go as fast as you want there. So keep that in mind. All right, well, what else we're going to do? We're going to hop into a server, okay? And we're going to, I'm going to go over a couple things that we can practice. Um, when I was really working on my aim um, about six or eight months ago, um, what I would do is I would do that, and I wouldn't go into a free-for-all deathmatch. I would go into an aim map server because typically everything's in front of you on the aim map server, whereas a free-for-all, you're constantly turning, and uh, you're having to use other other skills other than your uh, your direct aim. You know, you're using like your awareness. Um, you know, your your recognition of where you're getting hit from, that sort of thing. So, let's see, is netcode? Yeah, netcode's got one. All right, so this one at least you're going to be able to work on what you just practiced. Everything's in front of you, working on your sliding, and obviously the the 180 flick shots. Man, that comes with that comes with free for all deathmatch. All right, so we're just going to work on on tapping people. Okay, tapping heads. And again, something you need to do is never make the aim on the very forefront of your thought process, okay? You want to relax and you just want to try to hit shots. If you whiff, man, who cares? I mean, you know, where we're not trying to whiff is on on our little, um, our server, our little uh, map server. And again, I'll put that, I'll put a lot of information on the VOD um, whenever I upload it to YouTube. And it's just, uh, it's training underscore aim underscore CSGO, okay? I'm gonna be that guy that pushes up right here, just for funds, for funsies. You're gonna be like, what the heck? You're like, where are these guys hitting me from? Oh, he's lagging, or I'm lagging one. I won't do that again. Yeah, he's definitely skipping. And again, how we peek corners is we want to peek with our shoulders, okay? We don't want to run out here and be shot from everybody, okay? Unless we're just really trying to challenge ourselves on our reflexes. So, again, if you're if you're kind of not used to playing angles, focus on just shoulder, just tight peaks, okay? Just tight peaks like this, okay? And then, you know, they're not there, so let's switch. Okay? Just stuff like that. All right, that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to keep it nice and simple. That was a little bit overextended there, I'll be honest. Let's get this guy rushing us. Or let's die to him. Either one. There we go. All right, again, just try to try to keep yourself as covered as possible. Unless you really want to challenge yourself, then you get out here, then you try to hit good reflex shots, okay? And again, this will get you used to your movement, too, and, and just kind of hitting AD, AD. All 
All right, so that's really all we want to focus on is, is keeping good tight angles. This is kind of a hard map because you can just see a lot of heads. Like they can see my head right now if they were to peep me. So um, I know, really all you're seeing is the top of the head. So it really challenges your aim. Okay. All right, so that's basically, that's the gist of what we're doing with our aim. Um, if you guys want to ask me some questions about um, maybe more in depth, feel free to ask. But I'm, I'm going to cover just simply the basics with that. Again, peak in tight corners, that's what all I want to do. Okay, I see two there, back off. Don't try to peek them both. Okay, you can really work at this stuff too. I mean, you can just challenge yourself to, to die as little as possible. Unless you get guys who push you, then it's just really annoying. And you really can't work on that stuff. Which that's the problem with having so few people. Thank you for lining up. Appreciate it. Apparently, I can't shoot. Do you always peek at full speed? Um, I typically counter strafe. Okay, so if you were watching my keyboard, when I peek, you would see me counter strafe back to stop myself. Jeez, that's bad. That's bad recoil control right there. Not letting my crosshair go back to normal and it's probably typically you don't want to listen to like very upbeat music because it, it you try to play too fast so right now I've kind of got a upbeat music going in my background or in my head in, my, in the background so typically you just want to slow things down okay have a good rhythm to your shot it's not about unless you're just trying to spray somebody down it's not about how many shots you can get off it's about how many you can get off more accurately okay we always want to try to be accurate. And sometimes I will challenge myself. Sometimes I'll, I'll push out. And I'll actually, I'll just try to, to go reflex, to full reflex, and just like do stupid stuff. Like sometimes it's just, it's more of a, uh, you get in a situation where you've got two running at you. I've got to, I've got to shoot quick, and I've got to try to get some shots off. So sometimes I will do that just to, just to mix it up, um, and to keep myself entertained. Are you not entertained? That spray though. I'm typically not a sprayer, unless they're right in front of me. Um, it's it's a good thing to do at close quarters, but see, I'm too far away to be spraying right there. Again, probably a little bit too far to spray. A little sloppy. Not really pleased with that exchange. Those were a couple good ones. Again, I'm trying to peek as little as possible and see as little as the target as possible. That really challenges uh, their ability to hit me and my ability to hit them. So I'm not really trying to full peek with my body uh, up on the top of the ramp. Okay. Again, I, it's not a good spray. I don't really... I'm more of a two-shot, three-shot burst guy with a, an AK. Twice for 52. Jeez, they're pushing like crazy. You always panic. Well, and that, that's why you do it. I mean, it kind of gives you. You're never going to be comfortable with like two people running full speed at you, because um, it's tough. But if you can simulate that situation and just slow it down, I mean, just see heads, man. Just try so hard to focus on hitting those headshots, because if you freak out. Your chances of killing one, it, it goes down drastically. But if you take your time, at least if you trade a two for one, you know, you're not in a terrible situation. These guys are real pissing me off right now. Just shut them down. Or not. Let's step my game up. All right. Um, I think we're just outnumbered, one do you think? 
I'm actually going to go ahead and probably hop into a pug. I may just do an ESEA pug. Only because I'm used to 128 tick at this point. Um, plus, I don't I don't really want a uh, super long queue time. Yeah, I always try to isolate, man. That's a given. You never want to. You never want to voluntarily or willingly take on two for one. Okay. Anytime you can play a corner, it's huge. Okay. And again, you see two shot bursts out of me. So, if if I'm going to practice my um, my AK on our aim map, our training map, then what I want to focus on is I want to focus on two shot bursts. Okay. And maybe you you make it to where it's it's two shots to kill the target. That way you know if both both shots are hitting your target. Guys, I'm peeking at pussy dog. I thought that should have registered. So if I'm playing this corner and I've got two guys coming at me right there, what I want to try to do is the one furthest out, I want to isolate me and him. So use this wall to shield off the other guy, the second player, just like I did right there. Just couldn't kill the second guy. That was bad. And it's the little fundamentals like that that's really going to change rounds for your team. You say, well, man, I can't carry hard. Well, if you get two or three kills around, pretty easy carry. You know, and hope when you don't do that, your team kind of picks you up.